Hello Floss Tube. this is Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner and I'm here with another update. Today we have a guest star. My sister Alex is visiting, she's 16, and she does do cross stitching as well as other crafty type hobbies. So we are going to show our whips and she's going to do the Know Your Needleworker tag and I'll answer the questions too. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with that. Okay, what's your, I mean, tell us your name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alexandra Lowe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's our last name, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm six, but you already said this. Just, t how old are you? Sixteen. Where were you born? The Ivory Coast, Co Cote d'Ivoire, in West Africa. Okay. Um, and so, okay, we're gonna start the Know Your Needle. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll answer those questions, too, because that's only fair. I'm 29. I was born in Ladysmith, South Africa. Our dad is South African. Our mom's American, so. And West Africa is not in South Africa, guys. It's not. It's, it's in another part of Africa. <laughs> but she's still, she's still half South African, so. I don't know what that makes you, like, half South African, half Ivorian, and half American. That's, Wait, like, no, one that, and a half, so. That doesn't work, though, because you can't be half three times. But blood-wise, you can be, can't you? No, you'd be one-third. <laughs> I don't one know. One-third and one-third. I don't know. I'm just saying. You're the math one here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Alex and my mom are up here visiting me for um, the past week and a half. And my grandpa's up here now, too, so I can do his taxes tonight. So we're in a full house in my little one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> so Alex and I, I talked her into doing this video with us. And don't worry, guys, we have my mom's permission because she's under 18. So we're all good. Wait, what? <laughs> To post a video on YouTube and give public information, you have to have your parents' permission. Oh, this is unknown to me. Whatever, I asked mom, so. Okay. She said yes. Okay, so, um, I'm the oldest, and Alex is the youngest. There's 13 years in between us. Um, so, where do you currently live? I currently live in Singapore, which is in Asia. <laughs> And I live in Roseville, California. That's up by Sacramento. So, yeah. we are quite a distance apart. Um, what do you do for a living? I am a student. But I work in my dad's office. Doing what? Cleaning. I clean his office for $30. <laughs> it Pocket works. money, right? Yeah. Um... What grade are you in? I am in 10th grade, but I'm going to 11th grade soon. What's your favorite subject? History. Or English. History is a good subject. I love English, though. I don't like grammar, but I do like books. I don't like the grammar part, but I like writing and the reading of the books. Yeah. That's true. Um, Alex, do you have any children that we should know about? No. None. <laughs> I don't have any children either. I'm not married, so. Do you have any nieces or nephews? I do have a nephew, Hayden. He is the best. How old is he? He is three now, but he's turning four in December. December. So, <laughs> yeah, Hayden is our only nephew or niece. I feel like there should be one word that encapsulates both nephew and niece. Like a... Nephew. Nephew. Yeah. Nephew. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can say grandparents, so there should be a nephew. Nephew. <laughs> that sounds wrong. We have wrong. one nephew. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately for us, he lives in Germany with one of our other sisters, so... Kirsten. Kirsten. And Joe lives here in California, mm -hmm. but not in Sacramento, so no. we're a little spread out. It's all good in the hood, because we got technology, right? <laughs> um, do you have any pets? Um, not currently, but I used to have two dogs and a cat, uh -huh. but at separate times. I had the dog and cat first, and then I had another dog. 
Okay, what was your favorite one? I can't have a favorite. That's impossible. They're all um, my pets. Zeus was obviously the best. No. And Sir Walter was the devil, oh. so. But Fenton. Well, I never got to meet Fenton. Oh, Fenton was the best, but that's just partly because he was a puppy and my doggo. When they moved, they had to leave. So, when we had the dog and cat, I was in college, and they moved, they had to leave those, and then they got another dog, and when they moved again, they had to leave that dog behind. So, that's why she no longer has them. Why don't you have a pet now? Because we live in a high-rise on the 11th floor in Singapore, and there's just no space, and I travel too much. And I um, kill my fishes, so I'm not a good pet owner. Um, <laughs> also, I refuse to have a dog that requires more responsibility until I have a husband to do most of the responsibilities, so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, what are your other hobbies besides stitching? I like to read, to sing, but I'm terrible. Um, I like to knit. Wait, wait, stop a minute. Yeah. About singing. What did you tell me today? My life is a musical. That's right. We were walking down the street, she was singing. <laughs> you think, you know, musicals don't really happen in real life? People don't walk down the street singing? False. This girl walks down the street and sings. And then I tell her, no, I don't like that song. Pick something else. And she's got another song, so her life is a musical, apparently. Yep, she thinks it's impossible, but Because I it's not it. reality. I know the difference between reality and musical. And then I said, okay, but people don't dance and sing at the same time. But she was dancing, too, <laughs> in real life, okay? Walking down the street, dancing and singing. So her life is a musical. Wait for the film. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> okay, what are the hobbies? Knitting. I'm knitting. I attempt crocheting. Uh, I figure skate. Mm -hmm. I like to play some video game, uh, computer games um, every now and then. Rainbow Loom? I used to, or currently, make sure. Uh, Rainbow Loom. Um, sewing? Oh, yeah, I sew. I like to sew clothing and clothing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does figure skating. Uh, she takes lessons and been figure really skating for how many years now? Like three? Two? Two years. Our mom held up three fingers and then five fingers, so three I don't know years. what happened to four, but it's but not an option. But then she held up two, so I'm confused now. Three Somewhere years. between two and five years. <laughs> <laughs> three years. <laughs> three years. Um, so yeah, you've got, a, you've got way more hobbies than I have. I've got pretty much just crafting type hobbies. I, <laughs> audio books. Audiobooks, um, crocheting, quilting. Those are my main hobbies. Oh, yeah, I do quilt a little. Oh, yeah, we you made that Christmas quilt. Yeah, almost all by myself, but, but with That's true. help, of course. <laughs> I fell asleep and she kept going, so, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I was determined. Yeah, you were. And uh, you, start, you did a lot of the cutting of the quilt that I'm doing for you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she's... She's really good. She's creative. Um, oh. Oh. I like to write, too. Oh, yeah. I love writing. She creative does. Creative writing. She wants to do, like, NaNoWriMo, which yes. is intense. Mm. I'm excited. April. <laughs> there's an April, there's a camp NaNoWriMo, so I know you guys have heard of the November one because we did the Nano Stitchmo in Stitch Mania. You guys might remember that. I didn't really. <laughs> but, um... In April, there's a camp NaNoWriMo, and you can go from 30 words up to a million words, so there's a lot of, um, a lot of room mm -hmm. for how much you can and can't write. And you can look that at, at camp NaNoWriMo, uh, might be a dot com, or oh, you okay. could just put that in Google, mm -hmm. and Google will tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, what's your favorite movie? Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit and 
Harry Potter. Oh, but I love the Hunger Games, too. Oh, the Hunger Games. I forgot about the Hunger Games. I forgot Games. about them, too. That's a good pick. Mm -hmm. um, mine is Pride and Prejudice with Colin Firth. <laughs> but if if Alan Rickman could be part oh, yes. of this in it. If, okay. Dream scenario here <laughs> just came to me. Colin Firth with Alan Rickman's voice. My mom says no, but I love Alan Rickman's voice. She's she's dying over there. She's uh, I think she's gonna die. I just she's in love with Colin Firth. It's a little dangerous, so it's a good thing my dad does not watch these videos. Um, if you could only pick one, which would you pick? Um, you never did decide. No, I didn't. All of them. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? Legolas. Orlando Bloom. <laughs> uh, I'm sticking with Colin Firth, Mr. Darcy. Orlando Bloom. Legolas. <laughs> um, what is your favorite TV show? Mm, probably Gotham. From Netflix. Netflix original Gotham. Um, I think it was on one of the TV channels originally. Really? I don't know. I, yeah, I think Netflix so. No. Because I, I saw it on Hulu first. Oh, okay. Um, for those who don't know what Gotham is, what is it? It is a... Before Batman became Batman, so, like, right after Bruce Wayne died... Uh, Bruce Wayne died? <laughs> no. <laughs> after Bruce Wayne's parents died. Um, it was... It's just the process of Gotham becoming so dark and all the villains uh, their backstories and stuff it's very intriguing I've only watched like two episodes so I um, I, I don't really do all the superhero it's movies and stuff that darkness. you do oh, it's so dark <laughs> my favorite is there used to be this show on NBC I believe called Chuck oh, I love Chuck Chuck is amazing. We refuse to acknowledge the final season. The final season never happened, never in happened. our opinion. Nope. 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 Never existed. We watched, like, one episode, and we read how it ended, and we... Nope. 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 Um, but, if it... And they took it off Netflix, unfortunately. But if you get an opportunity to watch it, we really do recommend it. It's, yes. um, like, this computer geek, like, uh... He, essentially works at what would be the Best Buy Geek Squad, the nerd herd, <laughs> and he gets the government computer data downloaded into his brain, so they have to kind of turn him into a spy, but he's still a geek, and it's just, so there's a little bit of spy, but there's a lot of humor in it, so, um, mm. for all y'all romance people, there's a little bit of romance, too. A beautiful romance story. Oh, so beautiful. Yep, that's right. Just don't watch the last season. Nope. We do not advise it unless you like a twist. Like a Even serious, if you like a twist, like just save yourself the agony. Falling off a cliff twist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Um, what is your favorite book? Um, oh, I never did. Oh, yeah, I did. It's called the Ascendance Trilogy. Well, that's the trilogy, but I forgot the name of the books. And what genre is it? It's more like fantasy uh, fiction. Young adult. Young adult. Yeah. And what makes you like it? Um, it's I love the character development. How all the characters pretty much develop, which doesn't happen in a lot of other books. That's a decent answer. So, okay, so when I was thinking about these questions before, I was going to say... What was I going to say? Oh, I don't remember. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter or Percy Jackson, which are both valid answers. Oh. But I have to also push the Hunger Games oh, series yes. in there with I it. I totally forgot about that. Me too. Even though I just and then you said, said the, the movie. Oh, jeez. So, <laughs> Harry Potter, the Percy Jackson series, and the Hunger Games, Hunger Games. are all like level ground yes. for me. I can read all of those multiple times. Oh, and I'm in the progress of reading Lord process. of the Rings. Pro process? Pro no, progress. I'm process. You're in the process of reading it. You've made progress. Fine. I'm in the process of reading Lord of the Rings. Love it. 
I did not like the book so much, oh, but Tom I love the movies. Tom Bombadil is my favorite. Tom Bombadil should never have been written and is super annoying. No, I love yes, him. Yes, he's super annoying. He is like me. He just outbursts in singing and dancing. That's okay, me. that is suddenly making a lot of sense. <laughs> Tom Bombadil's life was a musical and so is Alex's, so you have that. I didn't even think about that. Okay, what kind? Of, what is your favorite music? Um, Pop music. But I like R&B and rap and anything. Who, who are some of your favorite artists? Like bands? Yes, or bands. Bands. Well, it could be like a single artist or it could be like a band. Okay, so. I'll, I'll list multiple then. Okay. All right, I love Coldplay, Imagine Dragons, Kate Doesn't by Love Vampire Weekend. Um, <laughs> I love Alicia Keys. She's my fave. Uh, Selena Gomez, she's my second fave. I thought you said Beyonce was your fave. Uh, Beyonce's Queen B. Whatever, there's so many levels she's I can't queen. keep track. I love okay, Beyonce. Okay, but obviously Rihanna. country music is superior. No. Yes. Oh, I hate it. Country music is my fave. No. Um, we've been listening to the script a lot, though, <laughs> oh, I and I do script. love the script, and, um, Ed Sheeran. <sighs> Ed Sheeran. I love his song Perfect right now, <laughs> that's, pro or, uh, Supermarket Flowers, those are two of my favorites right now, mm. but, Beautiful. uh, In the Car, I have four stations preset with country music, so, oh. that's my go-to. Unless I'm visiting, then that never I happens. I don't, yeah, I don't play it when she's here because I know she hates it, and hey, so we have hey. agreement where... I don't listen to the music she doesn't like, and she doesn't listen to the music I don't like. Yep. <laughs> it works. Um, which one word best describes you? I am a Hufflepuff. Yep. Hufflepuff is my mat. I am the mascot of a Hufflepuff, I think. You and Sam Baggins. Oh. Sam. Sam. Sam G. <laughs> Last Sam. time I said it was Frodo. <laughs> Sam, Sam Wise. Sam Wise Gamgee. Yeah, you guys are Hubble Buffs for we sure. We are the Hubble Buff mascot. And for me, I picked the word crafty with the double meaning because I like to craft a lot, but also I can be sneaky crafty during games and stuff. Never play a game with her. Mom is also saying that I snuck some cookies. <laughs> I wasn't being that crafty about it. I just stuck them in my pocket, and then I put it in my mouth right in front of her, and <laughs> she came after me. Actually, I don't think it was being sneaky. She wasn't being sneaky or crafty. No, Mom she did. told. She didn't know she I had it. another cookie oh, in my she pocket. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of that, for those that are maybe are like, girl, you have diabetes, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing a lot better, guys. We don't need to freak out. I looked at the carbs and my carb allowances before I put the cookie in my mouth. And the doctor's actually taking me off insulin. So, um, my, my resting blood sugar numbers are usually in the mornings in the 90s. So, my health has improved a lot. A lot. And we did yoga last night. Love yoga. That was my first experience with yoga. Yoga and glitter are the essence of life. No. Yes. No. Yes. False. Glitter will cut you. No. Glitter. That's real life. Glitter, glitter will cut you. It does not cut. It's little shards of glass. It's not glass. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. So, a question that wasn't on here is when did you start cross-stitching? Oh, when did I start cross-stitching? You were like eight, eight, probably. I don't know. You gave me a miniature cross-stitch and told me, here, do this. You also stole my Monopoly board cross-stitch. I still have it. Yeah. It's not finished. Anywhere near finished. I don't think our family's real good at finishes. No. no. But we we like to craft, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so why don't we go ahead and show some of our crafts. Okay, you first. Okay. So, um, Stitching George Washington started, and I did, I have made him start. So, I need to do about two pages a month. And this is around about the end of the second page over here. And the and it goes down to here. So theoretically I should finish that by the end of March. However, um something has come up and so this is gonna be backburnered for this month. And um 
I'll show you guys what's come up in a minute. But this has been backburnered for for a while, and um, I'll get back to it next month, and then I'll obviously need to do at, at least three pages next month. What does backburnering? Like, not as important. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's decreased in priority. Okay. And uh, the reason why is I found out that my parents are going to South Africa in June, and they're leaving here at the beginning of April. And, um, you might recall that I was trying to stitch these dogs as a gift for my aunt for Christmas. Not last Christmas, but the Christmas before that. Anyways, looks like this. It was on my year of whips plan to finish this. And so, if they can take it for her, then I don't have to pay for it to get shipped. <laughs> so, I am going to try for a miracle and to finish this. You're almost there. I am, so here's where I'm at, um, I have this little bit and then I'll finish the first page, but um, the first page is significantly larger than the second, so the second um, is only 60 blocks wide and the first page was 100, so um, I'll almost be two thirds done. And so, I need to do about 300 stitches a day to get this finished in time for my parents to take it to my aunt. So, that's my number one priority right now. Um, the other things that I've worked on since I spoke to you guys last is I finished beating the center medallion. Alex, can you help me? Uh, my parents, uh, Serengeti mandala from Chatelaine. So I did all of the beads in here. I now have these four medallions to do on the sides and this one is about half done. Um, I was going to try to finish this while they were visiting but then I found out about the trip and uh, the dogs. So the dogs <laughs> took over. The devil dogs. Yeah. They're my nemesis. Well, let's hope Auntie Deirdre doesn't watch this. She doesn't know about this channel. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, I'm not quite finished yet with the florist shop from the Hometown Holiday series. I, um, I just have the roof to finish. And then I'm done. All the rest, the snow and everything is done. The trees on the sides, so... Almost done with that. Looking good. Thank you. And then um, I started, and I don't know that I have a preview picture. Um, I'll just hold this back from a distance. The um, Winter Garden Labyrinth from Carolyn Manning. And I started this just barely part one Oops, over here and this is where I've gotten to so I accidentally spilt some lentil soup on this the other day and we I think we successfully managed to get it all out um it because it was like right over here and I don't really see it so uh, in case you have something like that happen to you and you want to know like kind of what we did, we used some dishwashing soap and then we used some um, OxyClean. OxyClean and we let that soak for several hours and then we just rinsed it and we dried it flat. So it worked um, and it got, it, it got the lentils out. I mean even out of the white part so like the white thread. It's white again. Yeah, so really happy about that. Um, I worked on, I think I've worked on this since I talked to you guys last. A little bit more on the shawl I was working on during the Olympics. Sparkle. It is sparkly. It's not glitter. Um, so... 
It's changed thread colors. Actually, I might have showed this to you guys because I think I told you guys that it changed colors. Wait, what? And uh, here's what it looks like. Change color? Oh, yeah. So oh. there's the. Yeah. And um, then I've been working on the Sophie's Universe for my mom. And this is done in. Uh, we have it backwards. In three shades of blue and white. So, uh, so since I last showed this, I think we I've done about six rows. So making progress. At this point, it takes about uh, two hours, one to two hours to do a, to do a round. So. It's definitely taking more time. Um, I think that's all I've worked on. I haven't FFO'd this yet, but this is March's. And so it should be on the board, but it isn't yet. I, I have it. I have the board, the sticky board to do it, but I haven't done that yet. Um, and then, yeah, these are sheep. And then, um, this month I do need to finish the April one. I very nearly have it done. So this has to become my purse pop, my purse project. So this is what the April cottage looks like. And this is where I am at. So just have to put in April, a couple more clouds, and then the border on the top and the bottom. So, um, it shouldn't take too long. And that's it. Alex? Oh, Alex made this for me for Christmas as a little ornament. I don't have a, I don't have a hanger in it yet, but I will be putting this on my tree next year. And then I can show the ornaments yes. that I made for sisters. Yep. Yeah. You can do it. She's nervous. Um, I, I made this. <laughs> right there. That's fine. Uh, it's a... Rudolph. Rudolph. It's Rudolph. For my sister Jo, because we all say that it's just her personality. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't have the other ornaments for... Um, my sisters, but because you already gave them because one. I already gave them away besides that one. Sorry, I showed that one. Um, I'm gonna be making this one. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, right for my dad, because it's just it looks like his face. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it does. Kind of does. Except for a bulldog. He's a bulldog. An adorable bulldog. <laughs> um, I made this for my sister Kirsten. She's um, the one in Germany. With my nephew. <laughs> and I gave this to my mom. Uh, it is like a cute little cozy wintertime cottage with the silent night, holy night phrase down at the bottom. <laughs> um, and then I just have a bunch of like little ones that I haven't really started. Show it anyway. Um... This one says, I treasure your friendship with a little, um, a little butterfly and a flower at the bottom. This one, it says, friends are for caring and for sharing. And it's two little sheep and it's so cute. I love sheep. Um, and this one says, a friend has a special place in the heart. And it's two friends holding a hand with at the bottom. I just think it's so cute. Actually, I got these from Kate. She got them for free and she didn't want them, so she gave them to me. Yep. Because she knew that I'd do them. So, those are the little ones that I've done as, like, gifts or friendship things. Um, should I show the whole thing? Or? Hold, um, hold it back okay, so that yeah. they can't see the pattern. She's working on the tree of stitches. 
by Bee's Needlework. Mm-hmm. And the orange highlighted part is what I've done. Obviously. She started this today, yeah. so I'm pretty proud of you. Thanks. Okay, so show. Um, so this is on top. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I've done so far. It's with a like specialty thread. Um, but, like a silk. Or yeah, it's a it? silk. A silk thread from my stash. Uh, she's so kind to me. Cause I would say I'm your favorite, but the other sisters watch this too, don't they? Everyone would say you're our favorite. She's the youngest by a mile. Okay, show them, show them the colors we picked for So, it. these are the... Oh. So, th so, this is what she's using for the tree limbs. The bark. It's just a bunch of different colors. Pink, brown, some green. Yeah. Nice and soft, like all of them are. Um, I have a blue... Wait, so your plan is for each branch to be a different... Yeah. Okay. Each branch is going to be a different color. There's 13 branches, right? Yeah, that's why I have 13 threads. Threads, yep. that's what it's called. <laughs> okay, so show them. Yeah. So I have this um, blue... And yellow and like aqua green color. I think it might be called parakeet or something. Yeah, I think so. I have this like candy, um, like this lime green. Lime green. Yeah, I was gonna say candy apple green, but that's red. <laughs> um, I have this super colorful, fun one that has all sorts of colors. I think it might be a Rio. I, I feel like this one's Rio. Yeah. It has some yellow, like an mustard yellow, some purple and blue and green. I have this other yellow, my favorite, mm -hmm. my color, my favorite color, it's my house. <laughs> <laughs> I have this um, a blue green color, some more fun colors. Uh, one of those is Hocus Pocus, I think. Yeah, I don't know which one. I think it this one. That one or the one at the bottom. So another fun color. Fun colors all around. Some blue, purple, and pink. Blue, mainly. Some yellow, green, blue. Mm -hmm. Some orangey, like pinky. Like rust colored. Yeah, rust. This I feel like this one was called rust. Yeah. Um... Some yellow and pink. I think that one's summer dress or something like that. Yes, yeah, something like that. And then just like a... Blues. Blues. All fun, happy colors that are all so soft. <laughs> it's true. Them. Silks are beautiful. They're like clouds. Yep. Captured. Um, and show them the project that I made I'm you. I'm going to do. Uh, Kate made me this project bag. My favorite, mermaids. See, I was able to give away a project bag. To me. Her favorite sister. <laughs> the other sisters got one, too. I still her favorite. <laughs> they all got one. And the inside? The inside's this nice, beautifully... Beautiful. beautifully. Imagine beautiful. This, this mermaid right here perfectly. Yeah, it I think. does. Like, the tail and the flowers. Mm. Are they leaves? Flowers. Flowers. Uh, they're both. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm checking out the yes. This is from um, Mini Twists, Mirna's, and Eyelets from Northern Expression Needlework. It was a Stitchy Box exclusive, so you guys can't steal it. Hope that's good enough. Oh, that's why. You yeah. Oh. But it, I don't think it's clear enough for them to actually steal it. No, and I can barely read it. <laughs> um, and then I'm doing uh, this. Hold it closer so they can see it closer. I'm just doing two colors, a pink and a blue, like a navy blue. And then this is my... Is that one DMC? Or? Uh, it's DMC, yeah. yeah. Should I give the colors or is that one? No, that's fine. Okay. And then Kate made me this, like, years ago. It says, fairy tales do come true. Oh, I'm obsessed with Disney at the same time. Yep. 
Disney. Love it. You always have been. Disney is our home. <laughs> I am Rapunzel. Oh, okay. Or Belle. I'm both. You're everything. This is the Monopoly board. Monopoly board that I stole from Kate years ago. We're gonna there's stains on this. We're gonna have to fix it. Yeah. But oh well. uh wait, hang on here. Can't. Is it stuck together? Yeah. There's a needle. <laughs> Okay, hold it down again. there's a needle at the edge, too. Yeah, I know. We just stuck them with needles. So this is where we're at on it. Sure, I think I'm at on it. But I think everyone in the family's worked on it. Except for Kirsten. You don't think Kirsten's worked on it? Okay. Well, Joe has. Wait, I have three needles stuck in here. You needle have four. Here. Oh. You oh. have four down here. Okay, I did put those in just recently. Okay, well, you have a lot of needles. Yeah, I don't know what and to do. And this one is not a crochet, I mean, not crochet, it's not a cross-stitching one. That's not a blunt end. Okay. Mm -mm. I'll use that for Anyways. my, some, for, oh, it's over there. What? Uh, the gift that you gave me. The, um, that we bought from Hobby Lobby. Oh, your Zen broidery? Mm hmm Have you started it? No, no, no. I haven't gone around. Oh, because your so. floss box set is at home. Mm hmm Um, oh, actually, it's in here. Oh, huh. Convenient. Uh, I got her this at Hobby Lobby. Yeah. And it's, it says love, obviously. I just, I'm really into crocheting right now. Not crocheting. Not crocheting. Embroidery. Embroidery, that's the word. Embroidering right now. So I think it's something that would be fun yeah. for me. You have a Hobbit pattern, but not with you. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of patterns, but not with me. Yeah. yeah. We, we, uh, Coffee Tea dyed the fabric for that one. Mm -hmm. And it's the, um, Clouds Factory oh, Hobbit. Hobbit. Love it. And, and then, then Kate made me this for Christmas. It's a little ornament. It's, uh, turn around. It's from the Nutcracker series. It's a Nutcracker series. Yeah. Dosselmeyer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Love it. Okay, what's the last thing you have to show? That's it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, Kate gave... It ran away again. What? My wife. Oh, it's right there. Found it. Um, <laughs> Kate gave me a... Uh, I'm really nervous. Diamond painting. Diamond painting. <laughs> Um, for Christmas. For Christmas. And it's the rose from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, the live action version. So the sparkly top up here is what I've done on it. I'm so close to getting to the rose now. I'm really excited. She let me do a little bit of it and it was really fun. Yep. I so. would recommend it. 100%. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to order one off Amazon to do. She said she was going to order the same one. That yeah, because it's so beautiful. Like, it doesn't even show up in camera as beautiful nope. as it is. So sparkly. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. So, yep. I think that's, that's it. it. Mom, did you want to show your hexies? Uh, yeah, I can show So while she's getting her hexies and bringing them here, because I've talked about my mom doing quilting and she's uh, doing hexies. So do you want to just change, change spots with mom? Sure. Yeah. So say bye, Alex. Go. Oh. Bye. <laughs> okay, here's my mom. Welcome to Hello. Kate's Crafting Corner. Hi, I'm so thrilled to be at Kate's Crafting Corner. You're welcome. <laughs> so my mom has been doing, uh, like about a year ago, we came up with this idea and she totally took over it to she let me she had too many other things to it's do. true i i was overwhelmed with hobbies um to do a hexagon quilt and my mom's as you can tell by the blanket that i'm crocheting for her she loves blue and white uh she collects delft from the netherlands been collecting it since i was about 12 one like yeah one year for christmas our dad when we visited the netherlands 
um, he bought her a Delft nativity set in Delft itself. And so, my mom loves Delft. And so, um, I haven't made her a quilt. I still haven't. No, so, I, so, I was trying to talk Alex into letting me do a hexy quilt for Alex, right? Because she wanted something else. Or some situation like that. But then my mom started going on Pinterest and was like, ooh, I want a hexy quilt. What? And then, so Alex got shunted into another project, which Alex suits her a want lot. to do a hexy That's quilt. right. I might have wanted to do a hexy quilt for Alex. Alex didn't want <laughs> Revising history as we go along. Yeah. Um, so Alex got a quilt that will suit her much better than a hexy quilt. And um, I'm working on that. It'll be a graduation present. But, so... My mom and I decided to start doing hexes for her in blue and white. And I wanted some yellow in there, but... It didn't happen. She vetoed that. Anyway, so, my hexy quilt. We did start out having blue and white and yellow, which I like. So, because of that, I sewed... I'm Applicate. Applicate a hexy on a project bag. Can you believe... Kate I made the crap... I know. But I did provide it was tough, the guys. outside material, and I did work at this one. I gave up the inside material. She gave up blue. It was really hard for her. It was. I had it paired. But she did sew it for me, so I have my project bag. It's love, guys. It makes you do crazy things. And I put in my project bag all my hexes. This is the one I've been working on while Alex and Kate were talking. So this That's is really pretty. The start. And... Most of my quilt pieces are just because I love blue and white, but some of them have special meanings. Uh, the gingham here mm -hmm. was the material that we used for Johanna when she attended a French private school when we lived in West Africa. The children had to wear gingham uniforms, the girls. Blue and white gingham. Blue and white gingham. It had to be this. And so I had material left over from the days... Uh, 15 years ago. Oh gosh, yeah. Or something like that when I made. So that that is part of my memory for her. Um, this material was given to Kate by a good friend, or who's now a good friend, Amy. She had a stash that she got from her grandmother, and so she let us go through it. We'd never met her before, and she let us go through it. And because of that, Kate and Amy have now become good friends. So that is, was a, a beautiful moment, too. They have so much in common. The two spoke a foreign language to me. I didn't understand it. It all had to do with stashes and... UFOs and UFOs whips and, and sows. I have no idea what those things are. I try to, I try I to tell her, but... And, and they were comparing the Designers kind of, and... Yeah, I don't know who these designers are, but they did. And they were just going nuts because all, they had all these things in common. So anyway, it was a great moment. I also made a dress for a dear friend who just had a baby girl, and I made a dress for her that was in gingham and this. So oh, that's beautiful. I took a hexi to make a little pocket on top oh. of the dress for the little girl, and then a hexi piece will be in my quilt for Isabella. It'll be my memory of this family. That's so really I like awesome. so I like for them to have some memory, though some of them are just because they're beautiful. Um, before I show you some of the hexes I've made, only a few hexes, I've made a lot. Um, Alex, she homeschools my sister right now, so she works on hexes while Alex is doing schoolwork, school so that great. she's right there. Um, that's the only way I get through her geometry lessons. I don't geometry. Anyway, um, one of the things I made was a bag, a sling bag, for Alex for Christmas, and I surprised her with it. And so she has a hexy on it. This material was the skirt that she wore when she was like between 10 and 12, like every day. She loved this skirt. So she couldn't wear it any longer, so it had gone into the scrap pile. So that's the skirt that was her favorite skirt. And then here I found an old, it looks like an old map material, an old map with a compass and everything on it. Um, because we travel so much, we, we go all over the place. And so this is Alex's bag to take all over the world. And then there is a duplicate of this hexi that's going to be in my quilt. So we both have one. And for those of you who are doing the hexes, 
So it looks like she fussy cut it, right? Because she has another design into it. No, this Same. Sometimes I fussy cut. I'm kind of torn between on um, certain pieces. You like fussy this. cutted that, didn't you? That was a fussy cut. Yeah, you did. Was. I, I do actually, not have the patience to fussy cut. What I did is I took one of the hexi papers and I put it on a, a plastic lid and cut it out so that I would have a plastic template because I'm not paying six bucks for it at Joanne's. I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, so I would put it over the material and then pick out the best place to cut out. So some are fussy cut. But I also like the look of things that are off-centered. I like seeing like it shows half of... Um, Something. Something. It, it looks kind of fun. So, and it looks a little more organic, I guess, might be the word. So, I've got a little bit of both. Anyway, I'm going to show you a few of my hexi flowers that I'm finishing. Um, I first sew them to the center, and then I go back and I sew the side. In the I'm in the process right now of sewing up this side. Um, and then once they're all sewn, then I'll put them together. So, this is one of my latest ones. Um, this is another one that's a memory. When Johanna got married, her bridesmaids, which were her sisters and one of her best friends, wore um, blue and white polka dot sundresses. And this is the material from Kate's dress. Yeah. So, and yes, I guess he cut it out. Okay, so, um, and then this one, the flowers are so cheerful, but in my kitchen, I have um, these hearts in blue and white all over um, the Pennsylvania Dutch style. And I have a lot of that in my kitchen, so that's mm -hmm. one of those. Um, this one I happen to like. And this gingham was a print that I used in my very first kitchen when I first got married and moved to South Africa. So this is my kitchen windows, my kitchen curtains. So that's one of the reasons I use that. And... Um, that I just like Paisley. So some is because I, just because I like it, and some have special meanings. Um, so for Kate, I have a piece that has owls in the center because she collects comical owls. So I have one for her. I didn't bring it with me that has that. So that's and my then, Alexis. And then we're going to they're gonna get pieced together okay. like this. Mm -hmm. And so um, it. I mean, it'll take years, and it's a lot of hard work, but it's going to be beautiful, one of a kind. Yeah, I hope an heirloom quilt. quilt. Yeah, it'll be an heirloom quilt for sure. It'll be nice if someday a, a great-grandchild will say, oh, yeah, this is the quilt that that crazy grandma made, you know, and it'll be cool. I've My great-grandmother quilted. I can remember her setting up frames outside um, under a big spreading tree, and I remember she lived in a small three-bedroom bungalow, and the middle room was nothing but fabric, boxes and boxes and brown paper sacks full of fabric. Um, anytime we went to my great-grandma's house, and we usually went about once a, a week, um, she would be piecing pieces. Um, she made a wedding ring, wedding ring quilt for my mom. Um, we have quilts all over the house. For my sister and I, we had sunbonnet girls. Um, we always had quilts that my great-grandmother made. So, um, And she was my hero. I loved her more than... Um, any other adult in my life other than my parents. And so it, it, it's kind of like a link to the past, and I hope that someday some grandchild, will this will be a link to her past. Yeah, for sure, I would say. I mean, we're all pretty sentimental towards things in like that family. in our family, so... Terribly sentimental. We never throw anything away. No. It's awful. Borderline hoarders. <laughs> Borderline. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways... Well, I think it's really beautiful, so thanks for sharing with us, Mom. You are welcome. Thank you for inviting me to Kate's Crafting Corner. Yep, that's right. She watches the videos. Don't play a game with her. She is crafty. Really, she is. Bye. If I think I can get away with it, I'll cheat. If I think I'm bored and I want to mix up the game sometimes, I'll just cheat to see if you guys will catch me. Yes. So. It's more for the fun of it than yeah, to win. Yeah, it's really for winning purposes. No. It's just to see if I can get away with it. Anyways, so that's our update for today. Um, my future plans are just going to be to work on those dogs and try to finish that April cottage as my purse project. 
Um, so I'll try to have another update before the end of the month, but most likely it'll be a short one. And um, I'll try to FFO that March uh, little cottage. And I haven't bought this spring one yet, but I need to buy it and quickly stitch it so we can update the chalkboard. Coming up real quick, right? Um, spring. We got a cold front here, and it like snowed, and it didn't. It never snows here. And oh, there's some debate if it was hail or snow, but it stayed out for a long time, and I think it was snow because I would prefer to say it snowed here. <laughs> Anyways. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and have a great stitching week. Until we talk again, bye.